We had our huge advance from the record label, our monthly salary from the agency, and the royalties from our CD sales. We weren't the insignificant amateur band living off our part-time jobs anymore. So I thought I'd have no problem supporting Hachi and her child. The walls in the dorm are super thin. We played mahjong till dawn in the rec room on the second floor. No. Yuri got wasted, so I had to help her to her room. Oh, no, really? I'm all right. <laughs> Get your hands off her. Fine. Good night. Let's do this again, okay? After listening closely to make sure she went to bed on her own, I got into bed, too. Even if they just slept together, Nobu would totally fall in love with her. That's just the way he is. I don't want him thinking of Yuri or any other girl. I only want him to think of Hachi. I wish he'd still be in love with Hachi. But I gotta stop holding on to such selfish desires. God, Buddha, Demon Lord, whoever's listening, please make Nobu and Hachiko get back together. Did you know it's after eight? You're gonna be late if you don't get going. What? Oh, my alarm clock! Yeah, it's been ringing. Does it wake you up every morning? Am I being too loud? Oh, yeah. Thanks to you, I've been sleeping a whole lot better these days. Think she was being sarcastic? Probably. You're the only one on the fourth floor, aren't you, Sheen? Don't even think about moving down to my floor. Why do you think I ran away from room 603 in the first place? And that was just after one night. Hmm. Then maybe I'll move down to the third floor. I haven't seen anyone anyway, there. Anyway, Nobu, what are you gonna do today? Are you coming to the fireworks festival? Yeah. So you're gonna get Hachi back, huh? right? Well... You're such a coward. Whatever. I just think we need to see each other first, you know?
If she's happy, then I'll know I've got to accept it. I don't want to get back together with her if she's happy with how things are. But if she seems sad, you know I won't be able to just leave it like that. Hmm. Hell no! You can't cancel an interview at the last minute because of personal crap! Nobody said anything about canceling it. We're just asking you to reschedule it for another day. No way! Besides, you'll all get recognized! Relax, okay? We've got it covered. Mika and Masaru said they'd make disguises, so nobody's gonna recognize us. What? You think you can just use our professional hairstylist and makeup artist for your personal business? Well, when we called and asked them early this morning, they were even more into it than they were for the poster shoot. I wonder what kind of crazy outfits they have planned for us. I don't care! It's not gonna happen! <sighs> all right, then. I guess we'll just have to skip work. What did you say?! Now I've lost all respect for you. You've always had a terrible attitude and your singing sucks, but I did like how gung-ho you were about My your work. My singing sucks? Wait, listen to me for a sec, Pei. You must know by now that if Nana's being this persistent, it's got to be something really important to her. Yasu. I get it. If you say it's important, then it must be true. What the hell?! I'll tell the reporter as soon as I get a hold of him. Why is he so in love with Yasu? Sure, no problem. We still got proofing to work on. Monday? Yeah, that's cool. That way I can finish my game and return to normal society. <laughs> What'd he say? He was pretty pissed because it was so last minute. But he said he'd reschedule it somehow. Yay! We do apologize for the trouble, Ginpei. Oh, no, it's all right. I may look all tough, but I've got a heart just like you. Of course Good I news, huh, Nana? Our band is becoming more and more like a family. Ginpei is like the strong mother type. Yasu's the reliable eldest son. Nobu's the mild-mannered second son. And Shin's the bratty baby that everyone likes to pick on. I'm part of this family, too, so I can depend on them as much as I want. Wait, who's the dad? If it's the president, we'd be like a Yakuza family. Let's make it the Tanoki guy. At least he's better than the Fox guy. This isn't too bad. I've always wanted a big family like the ones they have on TV. Now, if only Hachi would marry Nobu, things would be perfect. You're now in your 14th week. The baby's growing fine. Everything looks great. And I've got a pretty good idea of the sex of the baby. <gasps> so, would you like to know now? Or would you rather wait and find out when the baby is born? <sighs> I really want to know, but it might be more fun to wait. What should I do? Well, it's still an educated guess at this point. Okay. I'm glad that you've gotten over your morning sickness so quickly, but I'm also a bit worried about you suddenly gaining this much weight. Sudden weight gain can be dangerous to your health as well as the babies. You already eat a balanced diet. Just watch the portions, okay? It's not like I want to pack on the pounds, but I did eat too much for lunch. Okay, I'll have to avoid all those tasty food stands at the fireworks festival tonight. Did you just say something, Sachiko? Huh? You want a Jackson burger? Well, I don't know. I got a bad feeling about going there. Maybe I shouldn't go to the fireworks festival at all. Come on, dude. There's gonna be so many people down there. I doubt the two of you will run into each other. Yeah, but what happens if I do run into her? I mean, forget about me. It'd be bad for Sachiko. Her night of fun would be totally ruined. Personally, I think it'd be worse if you don't take her there because you're too worried about running into your ex. That's exactly why I don't know what to do! Goddamn hmm? Junko! No. <laughs> Long time no see, Koichi Sato. <gasps> Hi, Nana. Oh, I knew it. The Demon Lord brought me here. Well, if he warned you, why'd you come? Because Sachiko said she was hungry. <sighs> A Jackson burger and fresh orange juice, please. Yeah, uh, you bet. Sachiko? She's my baby girl. I'm four months pregnant now. Why'd you name your baby that? What a nightmare! Don't ask me! I didn't want to give her that name either! All right, then don't! You see, my husband insists on calling her Sachiko. Husband? You mean Takumi from Trap Nest? Don't you blabber now! No way! So it's true! Don't worry, I won't say a word. I swear on the name of the Demon Lord himself. 
I cross my heart. I promise. So, could you get me Rayra's autograph? You're a fan? I could take it back home and make it a family heirloom. I bet my grandma will bow her head and pray to it every day. Give me a break. I guess I could always ask her, but she's really busy, so I can't make any promises. You're friends with her? Uh, sort of. Wow, I'm impressed, Nana. You used to be nothing more than a common hick. And now it's like you're a celebrity. Oh, stop it. I'm just your average pregnant woman. Okay, now you're just overdoing it. But seeing how things have turned out, I'd say your best talent is your self-centered recklessness. For you, being humble and secure was never enough. I get that now. I guess what I'm trying to say is... Way to go, superstar! <laughs> Climb that social ladder! Oh, Take. It looks like Ren's finally decided to marry Nana after all that's happened. Ah! Marry her?! So your powers of persuasion paid off once again? Nope, I didn't have to say anything. He brought it up himself. And he doesn't seem to have any ulterior motives, either. That's good. That's probably best for everyone. About? He's getting the ring right now, so we'll need to figure out when he can give it to her. I say sooner rather than later. You're right. When he shows that ring to Nana, she'll lose the attitude and jump happily into his arms. There's nothing to worry about. That's a really big rock you've got there. A loser like me would never be able to afford something like that. Good call, Superstar, for not sticking around with me. You make it sound like I'm some evil woman who ditched you without warning. But it's the truth! You had me wrapped around your little finger, and then you said, I don't want you, like I was your toy! You cheated on me, remember? Uh, I'm sorry. So you think apologizing now will make things all right? Sorry, but it is in the past now, right? How can you be so careless about this? I'm only saying what you want to hear. You told me so many times that you loved me, but it was all just a big lie. Uh, I don't think I ever told you that. <gasps> yes, you did! I heard you! I did not! I never lied to you! You know I suck at lying! That's why you found out right away about me and Sachko. The whole time we were together, I could never keep anything from you! <laughs> right away, huh? It's time you fessed up and told me everything. For instance, why did you cheat on me? I just gave in to temptation. Maybe it was the Demon Lord. But for about two weeks, you were dating both of them. Back off, dude. If you keep sticking your nose in other people's business, somebody might break it for you. For only two weeks? That's all? You really are lame. Whatever! <laughs> You've changed my opinion of you. You were thinking of Ren's feelings the whole time. Huh? Uh, of course. You know, I think about him way more than you do. That's not true. I worry about him a lot. But you know, if he marries Nana and she stays by his side forever, then he might quit those bad habits of his. Oh, that's what you're getting at. Huh? It's all okay. The fact of the matter is, Ren can quit whenever he wants to. But right now, he doesn't feel like it. Think so? It seems like he does want to quit, but he just can't figure out how. Well, if he's gonna quit, he'll quit. Look who's talking, mister! I'm gonna quit smoking for the baby! You're still sucking on tobacco, aren't you? Nicotine creates a chemical dependency in your body. It's physically addictive, so quitting is not that easy. But Ren's psychological dependency is just as much an addiction! Would you keep your voice down? If word gets out about him, the band is over. It's been bothering me, too. You just gotta take it easy. Could you please forget about the band for once and just think about Ren? It isn't my job to look after him. So that's why you want him to get married. He's a problem for the band you're hoping Nana will fix. That's not it, either. In fact, it's a whole other issue. Huh? Yeah. Ah, Mr. Narita. How's it going? So what do you think? I died it this morning. Looks weird on an old guy like you. Ray Ra, even if he does look weird, you should never talk like that to the president. What brings you here today? We've got a meeting with the agency regarding Ray Ra doing Hands a commercial. Off. And what the hell brought you here? Right, the makeup commercial. That's great, Ray Ra. You'll be the envy of even more teenage girls across the country. I don't care country. about that. I just want to sing. It's not just about you. They'll be using our song for that commercial, too. So Take told me about Ren. The sooner we can hold a press conference, the better. So get it together and move things along. Bye. Takami, how come even the president suddenly wants Ren and Nana to get married? He suggested it in the first place. 
He wanted Ren to announce to the press that he would protect Nana. Why now? In the end, he just doesn't want it to look like Ren was being used by some woman. It's not good for his image. Uh. Narita believes that if Ren publicly declares that he loves Nana, it'll look like Blast made it big off of our coattails. That's so stupid. Yeah, well, he's not very smart. Having Ren say we're getting married is really the best way out. It'll leave a good impression on the media, and it'll satisfy Narita. Then this whole stupid circus can be put to rest. You're making him get married to protect yourself! You're such a bastard! Hey, whatever you think about me is in no way related to the problems Ren's gotten himself into! This is a business we're talking about here! That's what I hate about you women! Well then, I'd like to point this out strictly from a business point of view. As Narita said himself, the core of our fan base is teenage girls. With that in mind, I don't think you and Ren getting married one after the other is such a good idea. And you're totally delusional if you think they like us just for our music. <sighs> I get it. It's better if only Ren got married. Uh, oh. Why is Sachiko out working while you're just hanging around here? We work different shifts. You should work harder so that she can relax more. But we split all of the bills 50-50. So she's like a good housewife then? She's not my wife. And this may come as a shock to you, but that's usually how it works. Most girls don't freeload like you do. That's why it's a good thing you're marrying a guy with deep pockets. Hey, not that it's any of your business, but I've grown up a lot recently, okay, Shoji? I realize that. Junior, big blabbermouth. So, Nana, who are you going to see the fireworks with? I can't tell you that. Us celebrities have a lot of secrets that we can't reveal to the masses. <laughs> so if we accidentally run into each other over there, don't say hi. And I'll pretend I don't see you either. I really am sorry. It's okay. I know that I wasn't the easiest to live with either. But now that I think about it, you never really did ask too much of me when we were together. I hope me saying this doesn't bother you, but the thing is, I still have fun when I'm around you, Nana. And I'm glad we got to talk. I probably won't see you again. I guess we've all got to live with the choices we've made. Goodbye, Nana. so I'll just wander around here for a bit. You like to wander around, don't you? Even though you usually get lost doing it. I don't get lost anymore, so hurry and go. Hey, I forgot to ask, when's Sachko do? <sighs> At the end of April. Oh my god, imagine if she comes a few days late and is born on May 5th. What's wrong? It could happen, you know. If her birthday is on Children's Day, then everyone will remember it. That'd be cool. You sure it's not the Demon Lord's child? Don't put a curse on my baby. You know the Demon Lord's children are only born on July the 7th. Let's hope so. Well, take care of yourself and your human baby. <laughs> Hachiko's late, isn't she? No, it's only 5.30. She doesn't have a key, so I don't think she'll be here till 6. What? Why didn't she hold on to her key? <laughs> <laughs> that wig's too weird, Yasu. We can't even talk to you. Mika and Masaru put all that effort into our costumes. Why are you trying to ruin it? You're the one who made me wear it. You even paid for it. Yasu has got the perfect hat for putting wigs on. Sheen, quit talking like Misato. You're starting to turn me on. 
And you look surprisingly good with long hair, man. Hachi's gonna fall for you again. But I don't want her to fall in love with me for that reason. That whole disguise kind of makes you look like Shoji. A shorter version. I was thinking the same thing. Mini Shoji. Yeah, I totally see it. Except you're way shorter. Who is this Shoji anyway? And how tall is he? Shoji! <laughs> What's wrong? Your eyes are red. Huh? Uh, my contacts are bothering me again. But you don't even wear contacts. <laughs> I think I'm farsighted. The further away something is, the better I can see it. But once it gets close, I lose sight of it. Everyone's like that. Come on. We'd better hold hands so we don't end up losing each other in the crowd, okay? Especially because you're so tiny. <laughs> hey, Hachi. They say you don't realize how much you care for someone until after they're gone. But I think it's when you come face to face with that person once more that you truly recognize your feelings for them. If I saw everyone again right now, I know that I'd depend on them just as much as I did back then. I'm scared of that. That's why I can't move from this spot. She's so